Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have an update on what's going on with Amber Portwood and her daughter Leah's relationship. Now on the most recent episode of Teen Mom OG, um, not only the most recent episode or the most recent season, but even the season before that, Leah was really struggling to maintain a relationship with her mom. Um, she was growing older and she was really questioning why her mom made some of the decisions that she made. And even at one point when Aaliyah was going to have a birthday party, her dad, Gary, asked her, you know, do you want to invite your mom? And she was like, mm, no, I don't want to. Um, the most recent episodes, though, we saw that Amber started coming over. And even though she wasn't happy with the way that Leah um, behaved around her while she was there, and she expressed that, you know, she's like, I drive all that way to go see her and she barely speaks to me. Or if she speaks to me, she's almost kind of rude to me. But I'm going to continue going. I'm going to keep putting in the effort. And hopefully one day it'll pay off. And it seems like it did. It seems like it's paid off, you guys. Because according to Amber Portwood, she says their relationship is great right now. So Amber's estranged relationship with her daughter, Leah, is um, now on the mend, according to her. She spoke to Hollywood Life. She had an interview with them recently. And she said, it's great right now. Honestly, I can't ask for anything more. She said that putting some distance between her and her 13-year-old daughter was what they needed to kind of bring them back together. She said, honestly, when it comes to me and Leah, I did exactly what I thought I needed to do, which was give her a little space so she could understand what she was kind of like feeling and understand the emotions that she had, though, because she was obviously getting older. And some people might not understand why that was actually the best thing I could have ever done, because now we actually talk and Leah actually sees her brother James all the time. And that's what I wanted. On one episode, they brought up how Leah is embarrassed when Amber goes on these um, social media rants. Gary brought that up in one episode. He said, what happens is some of Leah's friends follow Amber and you know, they see it. They see it and it's embarrassing for Leah. So there was a lot of things going on with Leah. Um, you know, she was getting embarrassed because her mom was going on these social media rants. Also, her mom was not only going on these social media rants, but she was attacking Gary and Christina only social media rants. Um, at one point when Gary was talking to Leah about her relationship with Amber, she said, well, she attacks people that I love. How can I be okay with someone who attacks the people that I love? I'm not okay with that. So Leah absolutely expressed that she was not happy with her mom's behavior either. She spoke, like I said earlier, she spoke about her mom, her feeling like her mom chose men over her. Um, for a while, Leah and Amber, they didn't speak. Um, Amber said that she went months where she didn't see Leah. Um, you know, she tried for a while where she would message her. Hey, I love you. Hey, I'm thinking about you. And she didn't get a response. So there was a little bit of separation where they didn't see each other for months. When the season came back on, she told the producer, she said, I haven't seen her in months, but I, I want to change. I want to start trying again. And she did because... She started, you know, she, she reached out to Gary. She's like, I want to start seeing Leah again. And it was just a slow process. She would go over. And even though Amber wasn't getting what she felt she wanted or what she felt was maybe even right, um, she dealt with it. And I, I don't applaud Amber that often, but I did applaud her for that. I remember one episode where she drove over and Leah didn't really speak to her that much. Um, when Leah did speak to her, Leah mentioned something about watching this movie that was about this terrible mom who gets killed by her daughter or something like that because the mom was so terrible. And um, Amber was like, oh, wow, wow, you know. Um, and then when Amber's like, well, I'm going to go. Bye, everyone. Leah didn't hug her. Leah didn't tell her bye. And when she left... As she was pulling out of the driveway, she said, what's the point of coming if she's not going to talk to me or she's going to treat me like that? Um, later in the episode, though, she said, you know, even though I wasn't happy with it, I just have to keep going. So it looks like it worked out for them. In the interview with Hollywood Life, she said, Leah is hugging me and it's just a completely different dynamic than what you guys saw last season on OG where it was just kind of leaving the house and not saying anything. And at that point, we finally started to grow a little bit. So it looks like that worked. Amber not giving up. And I feel like the old Amber would have just been mad about that. She would have gave up. She would have been like, I'm driving all this way and she won't even talk to me. 
F it, I'm done. I'm not going to do this. But she continued. She put her daughter's feelings first and she continued going over and visiting. And she said, now they have a better relationship, that they're really starting to build their relationship. She gets to see Leah. Leah gets to see James a good bit. And that's what she wanted. Even on the reunion, like on the most recent reunion, I was a little mad at Amber at first because when Gary announced that Leah had been going to therapy and that she had been um, to like 10 therapy sessions, Amber got so mad. She's like, Gary's all for TV. He's all for TV. I've made him all this money. I was like, girl, sit down. Is this really what we're going to do? But then the part two, Amber calmed down and she explained the way that she was feeling. She's like, I'm just mad because I'm her mom and I would have preferred to know ahead of time. She sat down, she spoke to Dr. Drew, she spoke to Gary, she spoke to Christina, and she really, I was proud of her because I've never seen Amber do that. Usually when Amber gets mad, she's mad, she's hot, she's saying things that she shouldn't say, she's attacking people. And even though she did it for like five minutes, she calmed down and she was able to regain control, which is something that she has never been able to do. So I don't give her props that much, like I've said, but I do have to give her some props. And I don't know if she's on the right medication now. If she is, I hope she stays on it. But I do have to say, I watched the Teen Mom um, reunion where the Teen Mom OGs, the Teen Mom 2 cast, and some of the Teen Mom YMP, where they were on this vacation and they were all hanging out together. And I think Amber was drinking there. Um, I saw her with like a, a wine glass with some dark liquid in it. And that worried me because I'm like, oh, I think she's doing okay right now. Um, which means she's probably been going to therapy and she's probably on the right medications. But now if she's here drinking, what kind of effect is that going to have on her? So I am glad to hear that she is doing well with her relationship with Leah. I feel like Leah is old enough and she is smart enough to know, like, if mom's not doing well and I need to separate myself, I will. But if mom's doing good and I feel like she's trying, I'll have that relationship. So I think it's a good thing. And I think uh, it, it's, it's telling us that Amber must be doing better. And I personally feel like I've seen it. So you guys leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you guys... Happy to hear that Amber and Leah, they are, their relationship is a lot better. If you guys feel also like Amber has been doing a lot better lately, leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone.